Who's all right? Who's calling? All right, Leon. What's the call? Who's the call from? It's from your home planet. Actually, the phone. The call is from your from your planet, from the home from your home world. Wokai. Apparently, there's apparently the tournament. Ma- there's someone in who wants you to be the wants to lead. Wants you to be the head of the tournament, the death battle tournament. He wants to speak to you about that. That's not a priority for me right now. Tell him that his call off the tell him his call will have to wait his transmission call will have to wait. Uh, sir, this could be important. I know, but there are people right I have to take care of this right now. There's someone who right now I gotta get started on since the video since this since we're already starting already. Tell him he has to wait till after I'm done after the after I'm done here. Alrighty. Hi everybody, uh, Jack Panda here again, and like I said, we're about to start on the next reaction video. This is a three-parter, so I'm going to be doing some one video. So guys, uh, I hope you guys like the this video by this by our our dear our supporter, our fellow supporter, uh, Lyrish Tom, and I'm going to be today. We're going to be reacting to his to his three-part series of the Screaming Lyrish Tom. It's another creepy pasta one. The creepy pasta Irish Tom, I mean. Well, this is gonna. The link will be in the description down below. As you guys, as well as this, as well, I'm gonna make this a. As you guys, save me some time, guys. I'm gonna make this a a weekly ser a Thursday weekly series. Is uh following Irish Tom and uh and Flow TV, Harry Flow TV. So yeah, part one will be on will be coming on today, and then we're from there we're gonna be starting on part two and three ne- on the next for the next two weeks. Considering I ha- I have uh, I have to get back to the roots with the with the other reactions, especially with one of the one of the videos that has a ton of I mean and I mean a ton of views already. So guys, so I'm gonna be making this a three parter series. So. Oh yeah, next week will be part two of the creepy pasta of Lyrish Tom, and for and then so forth, guys. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Yeah, what's happening? I'm thinking this may be uh, Lyra's Tom. This is maybe a sadness story of the cute pasta. It's really interesting. Um, I work for Zargo and he kind of taught me how to laugh at sad 
Brothers was a man named Jack, and he worked in a pet fish. This is part two, I'm guessing, so let's. Pretty much. Might as well get to the rest of the parts out of the and way then. Soon he realized he heard a bunch of fishes talking to him. He thought it was going insane. But it turns out those fishes wasn't talking at all. He turned around and there was a red faced man. And the red faced man said, I'm Zargo. And soon, Jack blinked and Zargo disappeared. He doesn't even know if that's a real person or hallucination. So he decided to go to bed early and, you know, shut down the shop. And soon he was dreaming. He saw the weird red face again of him again. And he said, join me or work for me. Actually both. You should join me and work for me. Or else I'll make sure you have a painful death. Jack basically woke up and he realised there was a mask on him with a white stripy nose and with a white triangle on it. And he also realised he's wearing a red coat and he don't know if he wore them while he was asleep or not. And soon Zorgo showed himself, but this time in real physical form. He, he said, if you don't work for me any sooner, I will make sure you will die the painful way possible. And Jack said, hmm. fine, okay, fine, I'm scared of you. And soon, um, Zargo said, your new name is Laughing Jack, because you laugh at Ah, oh, that character. Suffering. I remember that and character. Also deaths. Zorgo decided to see if he gained his trust. So Zorgo wanted to see if Laughing and Jack is trustworthy. So he thought of teleporting a child nearby and say to him, please kill that child. And right now it's in Laughing and Jack's bedroom. And basically, Laughing Jack kind of didn't realise and asked, why do you want me to kill the child? And Zargo said, because I'll see if you enjoy it or not. And basically, Laughing Jack realised he has no choice. He straight away grabbed a handgun and shoot that child in the head. Oh my goodness. Weird enough, Laughing Jack was laughing out of joy. said I knew you was gonna enjoy it I oh knew boy. it you definitely this went dark murder. now please follow every mm. murder instruction I tell you to you can kill anyone but mainly if I tell you to laughing Jack said yes my king I will do anything you say my king before mm. Martha Jack decided to leave the building, Zorgo said to him, hey, guys. here's some powers. And now Zorgo has, and now Martha Jack has unique powers. And forever be known as Laugh and Jack, the person who loves to kill children, mm. but also kills other people as well. Five years later, mm. Laughing Jack realised his master, also known as his king, is not dead, but basically, well, he basically thought his master's dead. Mm. But meanwhile, turns out he, his master was just, you know, trapped in an astral life and also trapped in a Pokemon ball. But he didn't know that. Whoa. So by the time, he actually thought his master died. I'm getting a top of four So his only possible solution is to find a new life. Or Remember the top of four of star that scene? And lay low from police reasons. That's the only thing he could think of. Pretty much. So he decided to, to find a house 
took him a real long time. But he went back to England, pretty much. He, he used to be in England when he was younger, and he moved into um, into America for for a while until you know Rod Fazzolo and knows that the leader died, or at least he thinks his leader dies. He decided to go back to England, hmm. and basically find a new house to live in so he can hide from the policemen pretty much. It's going to be a difficult task for him. Part three will be and meanwhile, we're still looking for mm. home. Soon he found... He found a hill. Mm. And that hill was known as... Mm. Tom's Hill. Mm. Tom's Hill is basically a hill full of buildings. Interesting. And turns out he found a flat named Morrison House. He breaked into that flat and also that start vomiting non stop. He lived in my house now. That's where Life and Jack now lives. In my house with my family and Ben Drowned. Whoa. The end. Fate zero ref I'm thinking why am I getting five zero ref five? I don't mind killing other people for Zargo. But I love to kill kids more. If you wonder. Another time I like hmm. to kill fully grown people is then they what's the word? Then they actually the word. Stick up for those kids. If a policeman tried to stop me from killing a kid, I will hurt the policeman equally as well. Dear. And I will strangle people more. I love to strangle people. It's my hobby. But I also love to kill kids more. This is a fate zero if I know it. Mm. Also, I also like to feed children poisoned candy with mercury poisoner. Oh dear. <laughs> A villain. I don't give kids candy. What I do is sabotage ice cream vans. Pretty much. If you wonder, kids are stupid creatures. Oh dear. Oh they boy. deserve more death. More pain and suffering compared to other people. Okay. I actually love Zargo. He's my real friend. He's the only one who allows me to get away with it. He's the only one that helps me with this plan. And yes, I am wearing a mask. I don't have pale skin. I don't have a natural point in the house, but 
I really wish I did have a natural point though, so I can stab a child with my nose. But I still can do it with this because the nose I hide my fake self. The mask I hide my fake self. My real self is laughing Jack. Laughing at the pain or suffering of others. Uh, so that's our villain from many of the creepy pasta, huh? Laughing Jack. Oh, I remember Slade tried to stop him, but no. Pretty much. And I was playing another detail about my origin. I was bullied a lot when I was younger. When I was 15. A bunch of random kids who are like 14 try to threaten me. Try to me with a knife. They said, hey, I'm going to shank you. Well, not really. I'm going to strangle you. Make sure you live a painful death as possible. You stupid schoolboys. You guys go to school, I go to kill you. That's how the world works. Not really. Pretty much. Hmm. <sighs> Hope you guys understand that. Because I do. Tell him. Anyway, sorry, I don't know his name. I'm going to still stay with you. Anyway, besides that, I got bad news to tell you. Um, your friend, Josh, is dead. He was killed in an hour ago by the way. Not really important. Just gonna. Yeah. I don't say. Your friend, Josh, from Bedridge, he died. Alright, buddy. We're, we're gonna have to conclude this series on ne next Thursday, so we're gonna be so tune in for the third part, everyone. S <clears throat> Apparently, I have, I have to receive. A, I'm receiving another. I'm, I have to take a, this. Take a call. Apparently, I have to take a call. It says, 
since my someone is desperately trying to talk to me about uh, about leading a, some kind of tournament. Well, guys, uh, Lavish Tom, um, I hope you, uh, I, I hope, I hope you like, I hope you enjoyed this, man. Uh, 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 don't worry, okay, Lavish, I, I will, I will react, I will react to the third part about next, next, uh, Thursday, next Thursday, so, yeah, don't worry, I will be concluding this for you guys. So, guys, I hope you guys stay tuned for next Thursday, and boy, do I, well, am I, I'm starting to get a bit of a flashback from Fade Zero. If you don't know what the reference I'm thinking of, Gilles de Reyes, Murder of Children, the, the, the Monstrous Occur, I think. This is where I'm getting a, starting to get flashbacks from them. Oh, that, that manga is so gory. I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, next time, uh, I gotta remember to put a viewer description advice next time, I'm afraid. I think. But, other than that, other Tom, I think you, this was, this is an incredible series, mini-series, man. I hope, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to uh, reacting to the conclusion of, the, of this ser three-part series. So, yeah. Uh, um, I'll see you guys next Thursday. I'll see you guys tomorrow, guys, where I'm going to be going back to the roots. I'm, I'm thinking about doing season, the second episode of Pink Panther, as well as continuing on the arc of the Waluigi arc tomorrow. So, guys, uh, this is it. I hope you guys, I'll see you guys next time. And peace out, comrades. Leon, the, he's not going to wait. All right, play the transmission. <sighs> what do you want? Actually, man, this is, this is your boy, Rapid Gamer 99 What? Hey, you're my idol. How's it going, man? You're like a hero to the people of Vokai when you do the championship, the tour, especially the tournament of the fist. Yeah, right now I'm supposed to be competing in the tournament for a big prize. I'm thinking about doing. This is going to be going to the people right now who are to the resistance right now against the Aztec Corporation and the and the warriors of the fist. I wish you luck, man. And um, but any reason why you wanted to call? Him? Oh, of course, Commander. Of course, Jack. Uh, God, there's a there's a certain tournament there's a tournament called the Death Battle Tournament. Um, the people have been wanting you to to to, to lead the tournament for the for for future for the Death Battle reactions videos. You're gonna be uh, doing the reaction, but you're also gonna be um be helping out the contestants who are participating in the Death Battle Tournament. They're gonna be their their simul their simulation they're gonna be having their simulation counterparts take part in the battle. So you're gonna and uh, whoever wins the battle, whoever whichever con, whichever you way you react to it, whoever wins, is their whichever simulation counterpart wins, is the end win 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 wins the tournament cup, of that challenge. I see. So you want me to to do this tournament? Of course. There's I'm, I I I'd love to I love to get rapid, but. I have I'm I'm already on a quest right now to get to Trade World, I, to drop off some comrades. I understand, Jack, but please, please think about this, Jack. Okay. This could this could boost your morale for your channel, you know. I know. I'll think about it. Okay. All right. I wish you luck on your. I wish you a, a safe journey, Jack. Um, um, uh, and and. And and remember, the, re the resistance of Vokai, the people of Vokai still su support your actions of joining, supports you, your actions, by the way, of joining the, the Retro Federation. Thanks, ma'am. Catch you later. You too, ma'am.